a beef producer in Southeast Saskatchewan. I also work in rural mental health. I'm here today with Kyle Stewart. Uh, he is a rancher in Southwest Sask and his farm name is Pine Ranch Limited. Kyle and I are both research partners on the Farmer and Rancher Mental Health Initiative. Thanks for joining me today, Kyle. Thanks for having me on. So what are some things that you do to stay on top of the stress of being a rancher? I make sure I eat properly, get enough sleep. I know that's hard at times with whether you're combining or silaging or shipping cabs or whatever, but if you can, I find if, if I can make sure things are, are all set up before we get to them busy times, that seems to help. Um, having a good, uh, a uh, game plan for each day what you want to get done I find that helps too so when you're when you get up in the morning and you know what you're going to do you're not having to deal through all that in the first thing in the morning um those are kind of some big things that are some some smaller things that help are there any tips or strategies for managing stress that you would like to share with producers I yeah one thing that I found really helped was um if you if you're having a, a bad day or feeling that you're at at a low or something even if you just uh, talk to a, a a friend who's in the industry who understands the same challenges you're going through i mean that that seems to do a lot in my experience for uh, both people um you know you don't know what they're going through in a day and and i mean they could be at the same point that you are and just talking about it, getting it off your chest. I know that sure seems to help. And I mean, just, you know, just a feeling of, of getting all that off your, off your shoulders and it, it uh, definitely helps. Um, and worrying about, worrying about things that you can't control, I think is a big waste of time. Something my wife always tells me is, is worrying is like sitting in a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but you don't go anywhere. Um, I think that's really important. You know, things like, uh, weather, um, calf prices, grain prices. I mean, you can worry about that all you want, but at the end of the day, it's not going to change anything. If you spend more time thinking about the things you can control, I mean, how you're going to market your calves or, or yearlings or, you know, what improvements you want to do to your place. Um, another thing that I find really helps is, is, is not focusing on the things that are going wrong, but the things you've done in the past. Sure, uh, uh, grazing plants, you know, uh, cross fence and different things you're seeding for forage. You know, if you if you kind of build yourself up on the things that you've done in the past to make it better, instead of focusing on the things that have gone wrong or look like they're going to go wrong, because most of the time, the things that are going wrong, you got no control of, and um, I think that's a lot of it too is you gotta you gotta uh find the things that uh, drive you to keep going um I, I feel that's really important you know I, another good thing is is looking for things to improve on you know through avenues like bcrc and you know that type of thing there's always stuff they're talking about that you can you can put into your operation just to just to keep you going on on, on how to get better at things. I mean, there's always improvements and, and different ways to do things or like a year like this. I mean, something, something a guy's thinking a lot about is, is different uh, feed stuffs to feed. I mean, that's, if you, if you think about how far we've come in, in, in feeding different stuff to beef cows from a hundred years ago, I mean, it's, it's uh, pretty, pretty interesting what we've accomplished that way. Um, and there's, there's a difference in, in worrying and a, and a difference in thinking uh, proactively. Um, I, that's a, that's something I try to focus on. You can spend a lot of time worrying and it don't, it don't do nothing. But if you, if you, if you kind of plan for the worst case, I mean, it makes you feel better if, if you get to that. Those are all really great points, Kyle. I think that it's really important that you pointed out uh, to recognize what's within our control. Uh, and what's not within our control. And I think it's important that we share with producers that uh, factors involving the weather, uh, like the fact that it hasn't rained and if you've run out of water on your farm, that that does not make you a failure uh, as a producer. The, the weather um, 
does not have a direct impact on you being a failure. You're not a failure. That's that's the weather. Uh, is there any kind of last words of wisdom that you'd like to share with producers? I think there's a big stigma in when you hear mental health. I mean, it's kind of like when you hear when the average person hears uh, GMO, you think it's a bad thing. When in fact, it's 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 not. And I mean, mental health, I think, is much the same. Where it's 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 not a it's not a bad thing to talk about. I mean, mental health. When you talk about it, doesn't mean that you're off your rocker. It means that you're dealing with the same thing a lot of people are. And and I think the more we can talk about it, the more people will feel better about talking about it and feel better about what they're going through. I mean, if you can compare farmers and ranchers, say to athletes in a way that they've uh, dedicated their whole lives into being good at something. And I'm, I'm going to guess the, the thought that's going through a lot of producers minds this year is, is not being able to do it next year. And I mean, when an athlete, all of a sudden comes up with a, with a career ending injury or, or, or age at the end of their career. I mean, I mean, them guys more often get a lot of uh, counseling for, for, for figuring out what they're going to do next or, or how to overcome that. And I don't, I don't see a whole lot of difference between uh, producers and, and that. So I don't, I don't think there should be any shame or awkwardness in, in talking about this. I mean, every, every living person has anxiety of some, uh, degree some people more than others and I mean that's that's just the way we're uh, programmed we we have things we're we're going to worry about and some people worry about things more than others and and uh, talking about it even just talking about it makes a big difference thank you very much Kyle for collaborating with myself and the Saskatchewan Cattlemen's Association uh, I appreciate your time and the information that you've shared with producers I think that you've made some really great points uh, please feel free to take a look at the resources that are going to follow on the screen. Uh, the, there are resources available to Saskatchewan producers, whether you are a rancher or a mixed farm operator. Uh, we do really do hope that you are able to be proactive in staying on top of the stress that you may be experiencing this season.